Hello beautiful people! If you're watching this video, chances are you're on the market for a cookie-less analytics solution or maybe you're considering some alternatives to Google Analytics. That's why I want to show you Plausible. Plausible is a European company that offers cookie-less tracking for small and mid-sized websites mainly. And in this video I want to show you what I love about this solution and also scenarios where I wouldn't really use it as an alternative to Google Analytics. With this type of tracking solutions, the setup is usually very straightforward. However, with Plausible, it's exceptionally fast and easy to set it up. You just create an account. You can then add the script to your website or install a WordPress plugin. If you install a WordPress plugin, that's literally all you have to do. You don't even need to press an activate uh, setup button or whatever, it automatically detects your domain name. And if there is an account associated to that domain name, it starts collecting data. So it feels like magic and it works really well. Let's take a look at the project that I set up. So this is for one of my websites. The user interface is really, really nice. I love it. Uh, you can look at uh, all of the main metrics that you would normally be thinking about. So visitors, page views, engagement metrics like time on site, bounce rate, all of that, as well as uh, sources. I think none of this is too surprising to you. You have insights on top pages, devices the traffic is coming from, uh, location, uh, goal conversion, so you can set up funnels as well. I haven't done this because in this website it's a pretty straightforward one-step funnel. However, you could also visualize if you have a longer kind of conversion journey, different steps of the funnel and monitor conversion rate across the different steps. You can set up custom properties as well, as well as custom events. So you have a lot of the basic features that you need to understand traffic and user behavior on your website, conversion events, and do all of those uh, sorts of analysis while having a clean setup it's super easy to use there are no complicated reports it's it's nothing like creating an exploration uh, report in google analytics so uh, that's that's a huge plus a couple of things i want to show you is you can connect this to google search console so for instance here if i click on google i actually get search term data directly from google search console if you look at the geography, you can basically, everything is filterable by default. So if you click on a country, it automatically up, uh, includes a filter up here before I click Google. So this is kind of how filters uh, are, are managed in this platform. Now, all cookie-less solutions have some advantages. You don't need a cookie banner. They're usually more privacy friendly and easier to uh, when it comes to GDPR compliance or CCPA compliance or other privacy laws. However, I would say Plausible might be out of those tools, the one that has the strictest privacy features, meaning they literally don't collect uh, any device data or any data beyond the IP addresses, which are also anonymized. So they don't collect IP addresses. They only collect anonymized versions of those. And after 24 hours, those get deleted as well. This means on one hand that you have the absolute most privacy focused setup you can think of. On the other hand, it also means that they cannot track returning visitors because all of the data gets deleted after 24 hours. So they don't know who's a returning visitor and who's a new visitor. If you can live with that, I think 99% of the companies and people can live with that. However, it is a small limitation and something that you should keep in mind. Also, when it comes to GDPR compliance, the company not only hosts all of their data in a European server, but the company owning the server is also based in Europe and Plausible itself is based in Europe as well. When it comes to pricing for the lower tiers, like 10,000 or 50,000 monthly page views per month, Plausible is pretty much in line with uh, competition. However, as those numbers go up, Plausible is significantly cheaper than most competitors. So if you have extremely large 
scale websites, like 10 million page views a month. Still, the starter plan is only $169, which is much less than almost all other competitors. There might be a couple that are even cheaper, but in general, it's a very attractive price point for scaling website and is in line with competition when it comes to uh, small and mid-sized, mid-traffic companies. I think Plausible is a fantastic tool for a lot of companies that have maybe not so advanced needs when it comes to tracking. So if you're running an agency, you have a personal website, personal projects, maybe institutional websites as well, where there really is in like a conversion event taking place. So all of those scenarios, I think Plausible is actually much better than Google Analytics. However, if you ask me if I would ask my clients or advise my clients to switch to Plausible from GA4, I don't think I would do that. I think I would miss a lot of the more advanced reporting features and the more advanced setup features and integrations when it comes to either tracking or maybe advertising or yeah, data analysis, additional tools that you might combine with uh, audience research or audience uh, insights within Google Analytics. So I wouldn't see this as an alternative to Google Analytics for my clients, which are in the B2B SaaS space, but I see it as a great alternative for simpler websites where you have maybe one main conversion event, the journey on the website is relatively straightforward, or as I said, websites that do not have commercial purposes, but might be large scale, large scale websites nonetheless. Uh, Plausible is, is pretty great for that. One last thing that I really like is that you can also make all of your stats public on a URL that, uh, well, can be shared with others. So you can also choose the level of visibility of that. So it could be for internal purposes that you can share those dashboards very easily but you could also make them public and for instance, embed on your website or link from your website in case you, for instance, run advertising or just want to give a glimpse uh, into your traffic levels or type of traffic that you're attracting. So that's, that's a pretty neat feature that I really like as well. So the simplicity of being able to share these reports either internally or publicly with the whole world. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think about Plausible if you're using this tool or if you're using something else or are looking at the Google Analytics alternative. Let me know your thoughts and I hope this helped and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.